Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Wallace and Jeff Hodges. Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. I'm Jeff Hodges along with UNA head football coach Bobby Wallace. Coach Wallace, a great win for the UNA Lions today over Delta State, 43-17. to And really, the story of the day was UNA's defense. You held Delta State to its 42 yards rushing, uh, 177 yards passing, and for a high-powered offense like them, that's a great accomplishment for you oh, guys. It was an unbelievable job. A great job by the coaching staff with the game plan and then players executing. Uh, you know, we were able to get some inter two interceptions, but the biggest thing is we threw it so many times with so many incomplete passes. And, uh, but, but the defense we were running, uh, the key to, to playing great defense today was could we still stop the run playing the style of defense we were playing and uh, our defensive front did a great job. So it was just a common, it was defense's day and they played extremely well, uh, especially with a little adversity because they had some short field a couple of times and that's how they got all their points. And all 17 of Delta State's points came off UNA turnovers, but on the flip side, your offense put up 555 yards. Luke Wingo threw for 356 and three touchdowns. A great job by Luke. And we had to go over the top a little bit because of the way they play their, their defense to stop the run. And, uh, you know, I thought we it did end up running the ball well against them, even though uh, the big plays in the passing game were the key. Talk a little bit about how big this win is. The Lions now 6-2 and two overall. You're up to third in the region, uh, but also against a team we hadn't beaten in the last couple of years. And, you know, that's, that's so true. Uh, you know, it, it feels good to... Uh, you know, because Delta was, you know, our only Division II regular season loss for two years, last two years, and uh, and you know that really uh, was tough. And we still got to share the conference, but it kept us from maybe hosting in the in the, uh, uh, the playoffs two years ago when we had such a good team. And uh, so you know, it was great to win, to win, to be able to win, and to be able to put up so many points and so much yardage on their defense, which we have struggled against the last couple of years. And offensively, we hadn't been able to stop their offense, which we did today. So it was, yeah, you know, a lot of people are very happy today. We'll take a quick break and we'll have first half highlights for you when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TNT Fireworks, the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, and the Marriott of the Shoals Hotel and Spa, and by Little Steve's. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II National Championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Little Steve's, believe in America. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, the first half didn't start out that well. It was a, a really steady rain. We had a couple of turnovers and we're down 10 to six, but then your offense really kicked in. And we scored on five straight possessions going into the half and we're up 36 to 10. Well, you know, that that start was, was shows you a lot about the maturity of our team because uh, we talked about starting fast because they had given up a lead in the fourth quarter last week and, you know, their confidence had to be down a little bit. And uh, we wanted to start fast and then we come out and we look very, similar in the first uh, drive to how we did at Western Oregon. Uh, and it was raining and it's raining, you know, it was raining uh, today. And uh, so, you know, it, but it shows the maturity that the players didn't get down. They just came back and, and played their game. It, was, it wasn't anybody, uh, uh, you know, panicking or anything like that. So, uh, you know, that speaks for, for having a lot of seniors and a lot of experienced players. And the running was uh, tough today, but you found the deep <coughs> ball, some success, three long passes there 
uh, by Wingo uh, in that second quarter that got us touchdowns? Well, you know, first of all, it starts with play calling. Uh, Cody did, Ghost did a great job uh, calling the plays to where we could go over the top because, you know, we've learned against them that you have to take shots at them and, and, and get some big plays in the passing game to beat them. And uh, we were able to do that, and I think that kind of loosened up. Well, we did get some success running the football. But, uh, you know, overall it was more about passing today. And uh, receivers did a great job. We, we had some drops, just like they did, because of the weather. But I thought we had a, some great catches too. And, uh, and you know, when you have a long ball and you've and you're, you got a time for a big play and you, you just can't afford to drop it, then uh, our receivers did a good job there. The Lions going to put 36 up on the scoreboard here in the first half. Here come your highlights green numerals, green headgear, UNA in the solid purple. It's a pooch kick and a fair catch caught for and made by UNA's number 36, Nolan Coffee. In the rain here at Brawley. Wingo with the football. Fumble on the mm. tried a little play action. Very, very dangerous right there. Luckily, Luke could fall back on it. Slot to the right side, single receiver left. Lamonte in motion out to the right side of the offense. A little flare pass to Lamonte. Down here, third and long, and already we've seen the rain causing issues. The fumbled snap or the fumbled uh, ball, and then uh, Lamonte slipping. Three wide outs left, single receiver right. Under pressure is Luke Wingo, fumbled the football again as he was hit this time, fumbled the ball, a hand knocked it out. 13, or 16, I should say, Tyler Cameron is the quarterback, and he just right immediately drops a little pass off to Darius Powell to the left side. Powell is a wide out on the left side. Hey, one play, 12 yard, again, the little pooch kick. Nolan Coffey will catch it at the 30, but no fair catch this time. Nolan Coffey will return to the 35 yard line. So Option play, Luke Wingo will turn it back inside. Not much room there to us as the Lions go left to right here on the home side. Wingo rolls to the left side, flips a pass out to Lee Mayhall, makes one man miss. Lee Mayhall will dance up to midfield to the field from us here in the press box. Lamonte to the left shoulder will play action. Luke throws the ball down the field, has Dre Hall open, and Dre Hall will bring the football over his shoulder, brings the football in, makes the catch. Closing was number three, Romilo Wilson. He'll UNA quickly to the line of scrimmage. Grant Lake moves from the right to the left side. Two receivers to the left side. Play action. Luke will take it up the middle, and the quarterback will find the end zone. UNA will cross the end zone. Touchdown. Luke Wingo, good blocking up front by the Lions. We'll put a knee down, and Kevin Hinky will attempt the point after. High snap. Mayhall gets it down, what a job to get it down, but Hinky will miss the point after, kind of left it to the right side, could not get all the way through it. So Lamonte right, now Lamonte in motion to the left side. Wingo straight back under pressure, fires the ball, has Dre Hall in the middle oh. who tipped it up, trying to make a spectacular catch was Dre Hall. He tipped it up and coming in and making the interception for Delta was number eight, Colin Floyd. Vince Soriata. Will attempt to field goal with 34.2 seconds remaining. Good snap. The placement is up, and their field goal is good with 30.2 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Third down nine for UNA. Slot left. Single receiver right. Play action. Wingo fires the ball down the right side, separating oh and making my. a diving catch. A great catch out there for UNA. Number 20, Jalen Jackson. Just Jalen's second catch of the year, and that was beautiful. Spectacular catch as Luke Wingo now looks to the left side, had a slot to that side, has Dre Hall open, and he hit him. Dre Hall will dance into the end zone. Good blocking, Luke Wingo. Could have led him a little more. It was not just your perfect pass, but he was that open that Dre Hall could wait for the football at about the three. It's again for UNA. Two uh, receivers either side. Quick pass out. Trying to hit number 17, Josh Pinkston, but covered up well there by UNA's Darius Jones. Cody Mills, who is a spectacular punter, with a good snap, gets the ball up into the wind. Filbert will catch it at his own 33-yard line. Filbert to the left side will get almost to the 40, and maybe they'll give him the 40-yard line. And Scott 
into the game for UNA. He's the left receiver. We can go straight back. Fires the ball deep down the field. Has a receiver open. Number 80 will catch the football at the 20 and dance into the end zone. Jarrett Smith, 5'8", 159-pound senior, will take it 60 yards. One play, touchdown, UNA. <laughs> Two running backs in the backfield handoff to that big number 11. McCadney will try his right guard where he is gonna be pushed back by Freddie Reed. Pushing back toward the quarterback. Play action, Cameron rolls right, fires the ball through the hands of the big guy, McCadney. And we call it Delta after the UNA timeout slot left. Single receiver right, flare out pass to McCadney Ooh, who caught the goodness. football and then caught a whole bunch of number 30, Edric Harris. And now flags come down. Good snap to Mills. Uh -oh. He fumbled the football. He's under pressure. He's going to be tackled and fumbled it again. Covered by UNA. Getting back was number 33, Damon Cox. But there is a flag down on the near side of the football field. As we have UNA now with a wide out to either side. Two running backs, Diamond Simmons and Lamonte. Quick pass out. Open at the goal line was number four, Lee Mayhall at the Far side corner, he was wide open, just kind of flooded the right zone, and uh, Luke Wingo with a pinpoint pass to number four, Lee Mayhall, touchdown, UNA. <laughs> it's a little cool. A little cool. Three receivers left inside handoff to a running back who is smothered. That'll make it second down and about 14. Cameron straight back in his own end zone. Almost intercepted, mm. trying to hit York there, but undercutting York. Back to the right shoulder of Tyler Cameron. Cameron with a snap into his end zone, steps forward, fires the ball over the middle, intercepted. Wow. Intercepted, he threw it high across the middle. And number 11, Floyd Jones, made sure he caught the football went to the ground at the 35 yard line. Floyd Jones, in it. 433 still remaining in this first half. Two running backs behind Wingo. Wingo hit as he delivers the ball to Diamond Simmons. Simmons comes out of the backfield on the left side, caught the football at about the 20, fights his way into the 10, down to near the five yard line. Diamond Simmons with a TVA Community Credit Union first down, UNA. This drive, UNA looking to get some field position. Wingo straight back over the middle. Ooh. Had Jarrett Smith, and now oh, a flag yeah. will sure come is. down as Jarrett Smith went up. The ball was thrown high, 10 from the 12-yard line. Wingo looks left, fires the ball out. Dre Hall makes the catch. He has his headgear wow. ripped off. Maybe 34-10 here if UNA can punch it in. Things might get a little bit chippy. Trayon Tate far to the right side for UNA. Quick option pass, wow. Lamonte Thompson takes the option pitch around left end, will get down, the official says, touchdown, Lamonte, eight yards into the end zone. Wingo slow to get up, but he Ooh. has helped to his feet and left side, took one step, took the big hit just as he delivered the ball as the extra point is blocked, and that will be no good of Luke Wingo. Takes the handoff, Lamonte explodes up the middle, breaks a tackle, crosses the 40, 45, cross the 50. Stay to the left shoulder of Luke Wingo. Two seniors in the backfield, here comes pressure. Wingo straight back, throws it down. Lee Mayhall oh. makes the catch at the 25, falls to the 24 Got a spike yard it. line. Good snap, good hold, the kick is up, driving. Got it's it. good, it is good. So as time expires in the first half, Kevin Hinkey drills a 47-yard field goal. UNA will lead 36 to 10. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser and by Southern Fastening. Come here. Wow. Come here. Uh -oh. so you can What's going on up there? This is all for you. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> Changing your oil with Napa Know How. 
First drain it, then filter it, and fill it up with fresh Napa Synthetic. Boom, done. Now do your wife a solid and take the mother-in-law out for a Sunday drive. Mission accomplished. Never riding with you again. Conquer the job like you conquer life with Napa know-how. First, there was hammer and nail, then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can be beat. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, the Lions up 36 to 10 at the half. You knew Delta State wasn't going to go away with their high-powered offense, but really your defense had a lot of three and outs and gave up a little bit of yards in the third quarter, but a shutout in the third, and the only score Delta got in the second half was on a, a turnover by our offense. Well, you know, I thought that was really great because you worry about going in at halftime, even though you want to go in at halftime with a lead. But as a coach, you have to be worried that they don't lose their intensity, and especially on a wet day like today where the ball's going to be slippery, you could go out and turn it over a bunch in the second half. You can give up big plays to their offense because they have great wide receivers. And uh, so I was concerned, uh, you know, if they get you know, scored a couple times, they'd get back in the game. And, uh, and uh, we went out and played just as well as we did. We gave up one uh, long pass uh, there in the third quarter on a, uh, really it was a screen, but the guy uh, faked it, and then he, uh, one of their guys kind of got behind after the quarterback held it for a long time. But we were able to run him down and stop him, and uh, so that that was huge. We had a lot of fourth down stops in, in the second half, and uh, that really helped us also. Lions going to roll to a 43-17 win, the biggest victory margin over Delta State since 2005. Here come your second half highlights. Fired through there, second down 10. Cameron straight back, looks left, now looks right, under pressure, fires the ball out over Levy, incomplete. Slots to both sides for the Statesman, straight back, looking deep, over the middle, he's sacked! Sacked! Number 94 in Quarian Harris, once again, that's a big star sack, big star. He has been busy. Delta's going for it. Cameron with slots to both sides, straight back, looks left, fires it down that left side for Jarvis York in stepping in front was number two. Levi fell to tip the ball away, incomplete. Three remaining in this third quarter, 36-10, play action. Luke Wingo fires it out to the left side to Lee Mayhall, makes the catch, spins back inside. Tied in to the left side. Play action, rolling right as Wingo fires the ball over the middle. Has Grant Lake, who was on the left side at tight end, just moved across the middle. Grant Lake will catch the ball at the 40, falls forward of Wingo as now Lake raises up, moves to the right side. <laughs> He'll block for Diamond Simmons, who breaks out of one tackle at the 35-yard line. UNA will run the read option, handoff in the middle to Diamond Simmons. He is hit at the line of scrimmage, but spins out of that. We'll get into the backfield. Diamond Simmons is going to take it all the way to the house for a touchdown <laughs> on a great run, great effort, good blocking at the point. Uh, Cameron with the snap, straight back, looks right, under pressure, fires the Got ball, it. intercepted. Darbell Harris inter intercepts the ball at, the own, at his own 47, comes across the field. Now we'll reverse and try to turn it up, but he can't. He'll dance around and will be brought down. Tucker will have Simmons to his right shoulder. Tucker turns, hands off, Diamond Simmons goes off, left guard, finds a crease. Diamond wow. Simmons will dart across the 40, across the 35, and all the way down to the 33-yard line. I mean, he's looking down at the football. <laughs> Here's the read option. Tucker keeps the ball, comes out around right end, makes one man miss, spins out of the tackle at the Here 25, breaks out into the open, dragged down by the jersey from behind. We're in shotgun formation. Carmichael with a good snap. Hand off to Held, who fumbled the ball, picked up by Delta. Picked up by Delta, and they're going to run it back about 98 yards. Number 28, I think. What is the number? 28? Hey, it is 28, yep. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by...
Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time. So it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. We're here with our frostbite player of the game, defensive back Floyd Jones. And Floyd, first let's just talk a little bit about the win for UNA. A big 43-17 win over Delta. It's our first win over him in a couple of years, and it has to feel good, especially with the job the defense did today. Yeah, it felt pretty good because, I mean, you know, um, last couple, two seasons, they have been our only loss and during the regular season, so they kind of altered like our home field advantage in the playoffs. And, you know, it's another big win. It's a big win because last week we lost a tough game in West Georgia. So we feel like we need to get this win to get our confidence level back up. All 17 points by Delta State came off UNA turnovers. The defense tough all day. You only gave up 42 yards rushing. You had to defend 47 passes. That's a lot of passes being thrown around, but uh, defensive backs were up to the challenge today. Yeah, we just had to be stingy on defense and, you know, not get up anything cheap and just play hard. You know, the secondary – all the way to the linebackers and the linemen, we played real good this uh, this game. Floyd Jones, seven tackles, an interception, and a pass breakup. He's your Frostbite player of the game. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TVA Community Credit Union and by TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time. So it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. Changing your oil with Napa know-how. First drain it, then filter it, and fill it up with fresh Napa synthetic. Boom, done. Now do your wife a solid and take the mother-in-law out for a Sunday drive. <laughs> Mission 
mission accomplished. Never ready with you again. Conquer the job like you conquer life with Napa know-how. Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. Very excited about being here. Very excited that you're here. Uh, you know, it just means a lot to me and uh, it's a great way to get started. And I've got a lot invested in this university and I love this university. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, the Lions don't really have time to enjoy this 43-17 win over Delta State. You're going to be back on the road next week at Shorter, and they're not only a team that's really improved as this season's going along, but they run a, a, you know, a little different style of offense, and you're going to have a lot of preparation to do for next week. Well, we'll have to prepare hard this week because of their option offense. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's very effective at running the football. Their fullback, which is their main running back, uh, the quarterback and the fullback run it the most and, and in this option. and. He leads the conference, uh, they have big, you know, I, I think he's got a huge uh, average per carry. Uh, I think it's around six, seven yards per carry. Uh, so, you know, we've got to be assignment, you know, you got to know your assignment, you got to take your assignment, uh, and then not give up big plays in the passing game. Def offensively, we got to click, we're, we're a little banged up in the offensive line, we'll have to see how that plays out as the week goes along, but uh, hopefully we can get healthy there. and. Uh, and be ready to play. We've had some great success against Shorter the last three years that you've been at UNA, uh, so we've obviously done some things right on defense, and we have a, a veteran team that's seen it before. Well, that's true, and you know, if we can get a good look by the scout teams during the week uh, of, of being able to run, you know, what happens in a game like that is you can't, you gotta get used to the speed of, of running the option. It's not just running the option, but it's, they do it a lot faster than our scout team can learn how to do in a day or two, so uh, we'll have to adjust the air in the first quarter next week. The Lions on the road at Shorter next Saturday, 1230 in Rome, Georgia. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching The Bobby Wallace Show. Please join us again next Sunday at 630.